question is do i have the exact choice of word for a particular occasion the moment i say the word big i can say gigantic i can say gargantuan i can say whopping i can say thumping i can say landslide i can say turn around i can say watershed i can say enormous colossal mammoth anything am i using it for a particular situation can i use mammoth illness or can i use mammoth total by indian team can i say landslide victory defeat it's fine but can i say landslide salary it's not possible so diction is the right choice of words he gets a whopping salary right usage the moment i say he gets a gargantuan salary nobody would actually believe that i know english correctly the prime minister won by a thumping majority you cannot win by a whopping majority you will win by a thumping majority only because that is the right usage talking about nuances also we call them subtleties or shades of meanings take words like suppress oppress and repress all of them mean roughly the same thing to put some force to subjugate not let somebody thrive not let somebody feel free but they've got different usage if i say during the american civil war the blacks were i can't say suppress or repress i must say they must they were oppressed the moment i say a lot of bureaucracy suppresses creativity or oppresses or represses creativity i'll have to use the word represses creativity bureaucracy represses creativity but it's bad to suppress certain feelings so it's an important thing to be able to differentiate between these minute differences what we call shades and subtleties one of the options was irony the second was satire the third was paradox almost similar what is the difference if i say irony irony is something on which i cannot have a lot of control you might have heard the story of oedipus he ends up killing his father and ends up marrying his own mother and when he comes to know this thing the mother commits suicide and he blinds himself now that is not something that he would have done anything about that would be irony or irony of fate satire satire is intended i want to insult somebody like salman satorial elegance makes a killing it's a satire that he does not wear clothes leave aside satorial elegance okay if i say i always lie is this sentence completely correct by way of logic because if i am a liar i am lying right now if i am lying right now if this sentence is a lie that means i am a truther this is a paradox you cannot make such a sentence chronos so i can say chronometer which can mean watch because chronos means time and a chronistic something that is outdated something that is not keeping pace with time okay chronicle a newspaper that gets published time and again that is daily a chronic disease that has been existing for a very long time Arav Gangli was scored by the media for his bad performance. Even this could be the correct sentence. Let's see. For example, you have a word like assiduous, and we say assiduous is ass in the dust, a donkey in the dust working very hard. So assiduous means hard working, working very very hard towards something. That's not all. We'll also learn the. sentence making around it some synonyms and some antonyms so that you can remember a cluster of words around it as you will be taught in every verbal session this is how we go about it that find this hard working and perseverant that is the meaning and then there are synonyms around it there are antonyms around it and there are more antonyms around it and there is a sentence so you will be able to learn some 15 to 20 words with just one picture that's the whole idea now let's say the word is plagiarism we say plays i have written there is someone who comes to someone else and says romeo and juliet hamlet julius caesar and macbeth are the plays i have written obviously that means someone who is stealing someone else's copyrighted work so that is plagiarized as most of us know about it this is not a very tough word just as an illustration and then we learn more words around it and sentences around it so this way you can learn about 10 to 20 words at a time with just one picture that's the whole idea Let's see for example I have words like bombast that's someone speaking my heart is cast down into the pit of despair such as the fervency of my angst in mere moments a conflagration shall erupt such as we have never before seen obviously this is a bomb blaster word so this is 
the sound mnemonic that you can use bombast means bomb blast words something like that and it's so easy to remember and then again a lot of synonyms lot of antonyms plus sentences so you will have too many words remembered at one go so this is the idea of clusters with pictures <music>